Welcome back guys. Today when we're feeding cows, the 4630 hit 30,000 hours, which is a pretty good milestone. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about the tractor for a little All bit. Alright, so my grandpa bought this tractor in 1978. I uh, had about 500 hours on it. Uh, it, was, it was a 1976 model, so we're just going to go into the cab now. So you can see the hour meter it's down here it has about 1.9 mile or hours on it um that's because it turned over this morning when we we're feeding and we had uh, about two hours of feeding left so you can see the cab's still in good condition and everything uh very nice tractor so so how this hour meter works is whenever this uh whenever this hour meter hits 10,000 hours it will reset back to zero so that means it reset it to zero three times so it's 30,000 hours but it says zero because it has to, it, uh, it resets every 10,000 hours so so some of the major work we did on this thing was uh, at 18,000 hours we took the 404 engine out and we put a 466 one in so so that means now it's a 4630 with a 4640 engine in it so back when we got this tractor uh, it was the biggest one on the farm so it did all the spring tillage, the chopping hay, chopping corn, um, emptying the pit, so tankering manure and emptying it. Um, it also did uh, all the spring tillage or fall tillage. Now this tractor uh, has an easier life. We, we just use it for mixing feed, blowing, cutting hay, and sometimes we'll put it on the manure pump. So the tractor's been working on this farm for many years and it probably will be for many more years. Um, you'll be able to see it in some of the future videos All right, so I'm in the barn right now uh, You can see there's something going on in here. Uh, we're kind of so this all used to be bedding packs for our, our freshening cows or the cows having calves basically um, now we're we shortened it up a little So all this back here is gonna be stalls so we can make more room for the cows that are right down there um so I think at least I think how this is gonna work. I'm not sure exactly how many stalls, but I'm pretty sure from here back is all gonna be stalls. And then I'm guessing somewhere over here is gonna be like a water, a water trough or something. Um, so we're gonna just shorten up the bedding pack a little bit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.